Yo guys, what's going on? Matt here, and welcome to some Madden 16. I am back, ready to make some videos, and it seems like it has been way too long since I've done that last, and I'm back with some Madden 16, and as you all know, I am going to be doing the Oakland Raiders as my connected franchise this year, and I am super excited for doing this. A couple of reasons. One, because I get to start making videos again, I get to play Madden 16, too, because the Raiders are one of my favorite teams. They are my favorite team, and um, it's they're a good team to play with. They have a couple of key pieces, both on offense and defense. It's just those holes that they are missing, and that's really what's going to decide whether they're a playoff team or not. So I'm really excited to start this Raiders franchise mode here in Madden 16, and there have been a couple of bugs going around. But I think they got fixed, and if they didn't, we're just going to roll with it. Um, some people are having problems, some people aren't. So here we go, starting our new franchise. Obviously, we all know it's going to be the Oakland Raiders. But uh, yeah, like I said, a lot of key pieces on this team. We just got to fill in the holes in between, and that's exactly what we're going to do. You can see here their top player is a 96 overall rated Sebastian Janikowski, their kicker. Um, one of the better kickers in the league, although the last two years he's had a down year, mostly because the Raiders haven't had many wins. And also, just drafted him last year, second year player out of Buffalo, Khalil Mack, 96 overall. He's a left outside linebacker and he's an absolute beast. Some uh, rate him one of the best defenders in the league already, or at least potentially, behind J.J. Watt. And then we also have one of the best fullbacks in the league, 94 overall, Marcel Reese. So we're going to go ahead and start our connected franchise career mode as an owner, obviously. We could go as a coach, but I do want to do something that um, I have not really done yet. The last two franchises I've done, the Los Angeles Aftershocks and the Toronto Huskies, they both were relocated. The Toronto Huskies went from Buffalo to Toronto, and then the Los Angeles Aftershocks went from Jacksonville to Los Angeles. So what I want to do here with the Raiders is something different. I'm not going to relocate them, so unfortunately, if you're looking forward to that, I'm not going to be doing that. I am a diehard Raiders fan, so I do want to keep them in Oakland. We're going to become a um, owner here, and we're going to start playing. As here are all the settings, we're going to start on all pro, 10 minute quarters. Um, let me just go ahead and get in, into all this. I'm going to be keeping them in Oakland. I'm going to give them a new stadium, but I'm going to be keeping them in Oakland. So I'm not going to be relocating them, but uh, I am going to have a new stadium. So that's going to take a year. We're playing it on all pro. I'm not sure if that's going to be too easy or too hard. I'm not the most experienced Madden player and also haven't played Madden for a long time. So I think that's good. Uh, we do have 10 minute quarters just so that the scores are more realistic and things like that. The names are all on there. Everyone can relocate. Everything else is pretty much standard. Turn the tutorials off and um, yeah, we're ready to go here in Oakland for our stint as the owner and I think it's going to be a good one as we're going to start in the regular season, not the preseason. We're not going to do a fantasy draft either. I just want to get right to it right in week one. So this video is going to be covering the team, what it looks like going over the roster and plans I have for this series. And next episode will be episode two, which is going to be week one against the Bengals. So here we go. We officially have created it and you can see we're last in the team as far as value or last in the league as far as value goes. 32nd and let's go through the players the quarterback we finally have our piece Derek Carr of Fresno State his second year along with Khalil Mack he's gonna be backed up by Christian Ponder and Matt McGloin but Derek Carr finally the piece the Raiders are looking for next up we have the running backs Latavius Murray had a pretty good end to last year got injured but um he's gonna be getting most of the carries here as MJD and Darren McFadden are gone Roy Hello Jr. is going to be the third down back and the backup. Trent Richardson, I did end up releasing just to make it realistic. The fullback, we got the best one in the league pretty much. Marcel Reese, 94 overall. And then wide receivers, a huge upgrade this offseason. One, drafting Amari Cooper out of Alabama. He's a rookie. Also getting Michael Crabtree from San Francisco. We still have Rod Streeter, Andre Holmes, and Kemperl Tompkins. Uh, Bryce Butler actually ended up getting traded to the Cowboys. But at the time of recording this episode, um, we did not have time to release him. So we're going to be running with the main three wide receivers here, Amari Cooper, Michael Crabtree, and Rod Streeter. Amari Cooper automatically becomes the best one. As far as tight ends go, we did draft Clive Walford, our third string uh, tight end right here in round number three. He's behind Lee Smith, but Michael Rivera is going to be getting most of the plays. Donald Penn, our left tackle, 87 overall. He's going to be looking to 
have a good year, as well as Gabe Jackson out of Mississippi State, 84 overall. Rodney Hudson, one of the biggest pickups on the offseason for the Raiders. He's a center, 88 overall. He's going to be uh, one of those key pieces I was talking about. Also, the veteran Justin Tuck, 85 overall. Left ends, and he's going to be looking to mentor some of our younger players. We also have Mario Edwards Jr., who we drafted in the second round out of Florida State. He's a rookie, 71 overall, but he's going to be starting at the right end position and looking to improve. We also have Dan Williams, 89 overall, another solid piece, defensive tackle. And then we get to Khalil Mack, like I said, one of the best people on our team. I think I'd put him at the top. 96 overall, left outside linebacker out of Buffalo, and uh, yeah, honestly, his potential is very high. He could be the next JJY, and I am not kidding when I say that. Next player, we go to the cornerbacks. TJ Carey and DJ Hayden are going to be our two cornerbacks. Both of them um, have been on the team and uh, are just looking to have a solid season. That's all we really need. We also do have the free safety, Charles Woodson, the veteran. Him and Justin Tuck are going to be the two guys that I am looking to um, keep just so they can mentor our younger players. Next up, we go to the short safe safety position and we find ourselves... Nate Allen out of UCS or UCF and uh, 79 overall. And then we got Sebastian Janikowski, Seabass, the kicker for the Oakland Raiders. 96 overall out of Florida State. Took him that first round that one year. It was kind of weird. But uh, you know what? I guess that's what they wanted to do. And then the punter, Marquette King. So here's our team. Just a quick little overview of it. I really like what we have on offense. Derek Carr has the potential to be a very good quarterback. And with his weapons on wide receiver. Last year, he didn't have that great of a season number-wise. Uh, but for a rookie, he had a pretty good season. So with some weapons now, Amari Cooper, Rudd Streeter, Michael Crabtree, and then, of course, Marcel Reese getting him involved, and now Latavius Murray. Hopefully, he can have a very good year. Also, our pass rush is looking very good. We got Justin Tuck. We have, of course, the big and 96 overall Khalil Mack. Um, and we got a pretty decent secondary. It's not the best. Um, I don't want to make it seem better than it is. But, you know, we got a veteran in Charles Woodson, so hopefully he can help. And then, of course, there are the special teams. I think I already said this, but Roy Hallou Jr. got him from Washington. He's going to be our second string running back, as we did release Trent Richardson. And he's also going to be our third down running back. So as we come to a close here in this episode, I do want to do one last thing, and that is to rebuild the stadium. Like I said, I'm not going to upgrade it because you can see our rating is 3, happiness is bad, and size is 1. Guys, I live in Northern California and the O.Co. Coliseum is trash. I've been there for both A's games and Raiders games and it's just bad. Floods happen um, in the clubhouse and it's just really, it's, it was a cool idea when it was first made because it looked like the Roman Coliseum, but in reality, it is not a very good stadium at all. They did some renovations a while ago when they put in Mount Davis in center field. But honestly, guys, this stadium needs to go. I'm not going to upgrade it. There's no point in doing that. I'm not going to relocate. I want to keep the Raiders in Oakland. It would be cool, but I've done that the last two years. And actually, it could be pretty realistic because, yeah, they could go to San Antonio or maybe L.A., but also they could find a spot in Oakland. They could very well stay in Oakland, and that's what I'm hoping they will find and do. So we're going to go ahead and rebuild their stadium. All that is going to be done off camera probably gonna go for a different stadium than i've done like a dome stadium or maybe the traditional one i'm not sure i'll figure it out uh, also we got the scouting that is looking like it's gonna be a lot better than in years past so we're gonna have our new stadium uh, at the start of next season so we still have to do a full season first but when it's all said and done i'm ready to go it is time to start our oakland raiders connected franchise mode and you know what? I'm really excited. Finally get to start making videos for you guys. And as far as Madden goes, I'm going to have one more series. This is going to be the main one, though. The other one I'm just going to do more editing with. It's going to be kind of scattered, not a set schedule. This really doesn't have a set schedule either, but it has the priority over all the other Madden 16 series. So I hope you guys enjoy it again. Come back next episode for week one. I will see you guys next time. Peace.